very simple and easy to maintain single entry bookkeeping no limited company can take a accounts under this term only small concern if the credit sale is given if you want you can write here also br br received from the customer your debtor account will be reduced if you prepare total creditor account either to find out the closing creditor or either to find out the credit purchase Hello my dear students I am Dr B S Subramanya called by name Dr B S S professor in commerce and management Vidyashram First Aid College a temple of excellence Mysore in this session I am going to hand advanced financial accounting second semester unit 1 session 1 of bcom in favor of accounts from incomplete record it is also called single entry Yes, sir. Accounts from incomplete record is also called single entry. I am going to explain now what is incomplete record, what is single entry. Then, what are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? Difference between single entry to double entry. Then, before going to the problem, what are the things to be bear in mind? So, I am going to explain slowly. So, accounts from incomplete record is nothing but single entry. We'll move on. so i am going to explain the meaning of single entry system it is a systematic bookkeeping in which for some transaction both the aspects are recorded for some only one aspect is recorded for some transactions are not recorded is known as single entry so in single entry system sometime two aspects are recorded in some transaction only one aspect is recorded in some other transaction no aspects are not recorded how it is in some transaction two aspects are recorded in some transaction only one aspect is recorded in some other transaction no aspects are recorded it is called single entry it is called one sided entry which is called incomplete system of bookkeeping so if you go with the advantage they will ask for five marks This is five advantage, five mass. So first one, it is economical, so not costly, very simple and easy to maintain single entry bookkeeping, suitable only for sole trade, small concern. It is a time saving system. It is very easy to calculate profit under this term. Taking the opening balance. The end balance or difference is the profit. The expenditure will be deducted. The difference is called net profit. How should be? You start with one lakh, end with one lakh fifty thousand. They earn the profit of fifty thousand during the year. Out of fifty thousand, the expenditure of that concern is thirty thousand. Me, the profit in hand becomes the twenty thousand. How it will be? We started with one lakh. End of the year one lakh fifty thousand. How much earn the profit? Fifty thousand out of fifty thousand. Thirty thousand is expenditure. Then in hand we got the profit of twenty. Very easy to calculate. We'll move on. What are the disadvantages? Are no arithmetical accuracy. Accuracy cannot be find out here. No profit and loss account can be prepared here. Difficult to find out the financial position. Encourages fraud. Rectification of errors is not possible. Very difficult to find out. No limited company can take accounts under this term. Only small concern. Only small concern can take the single entry. Company cannot adopt the single entry as per the company say. They can't adopt the single entry system of book game. They have to adopt double entry system for every corresponding debit. There must be corresponding credit. We'll move on now. Now we have to convert. The single entry to double entry system, where we have to prepare debtor account, creditor account, which is compulsory. Sometimes you have to prepare bills receivable account and bills payable account. So that will be look after. I will give the format of everything. First, you have to learn the format of debtor and creditor account. Total debtor account generally to find out the credit sale or closing debtor. Two balance brought down means opening debtor. How much money to be received? By cash, how much received from the debtor? If the check is received, then we write by bank check received from debtor or customer. So we start with the opening balance. What's the 
this is the closing data of the last year become the opening data for the next year this year we collect the money either in the form of cash in the form of check in the form of cash by cash received from data or customer if we receive in the form of check by bank check received from customer or data by discount allowed by bad day so your account by sales return then if the cash is returned it will come on this dishonor data account will be raised creditor end as be or dishonored data account will be raised to bank discounted be or dishonor your data account will be raised then you have a closing balance of data the difference is called credit sale if the credit sales are there difference is closing data how it will be if the closing data is there difference is credit sale if the credit sale is there the difference is closing data if the both are there then the difference you okay by cash cash collected from the data so you must you must write down so how we start data account to balance brought down by cash cash received from data or customer by bank check received from customer or data by br received during the year by sales return by bad date by sales return by day. by chance here i have not written br if the br received from the customer you can write by br also here you can write by br by discount allowed by bad date by sales return then if the br is dishonored you have to write here if the br comes you can write it here br also you can write the br by says if a customer gives the br then you can write the br also if the br is dishonored you have to write it here credit a end as a br dishonored debit entry to bank discounted br is dishonored this is a credit sale if the closing data is given this is a credit sale if the credit sale is given if you want you can write here also br br received from the customer your data account will be reduced this a format you have to learn how we start to balance brought down opening data to br dishonor to cash paid to data then you have got a br dishonor then you have got a creditor end as a br dishonor to bank discounted br dishonor to credit sale then by cash received from data or customer by bank check received from the customer then if you have got a br we can write by br received by discount allowed by bad day by sales return closing data the missing figure may be credit sale the missing figure may be data then one total credit as account opposite to data by balance brought down opening data to bp accepted or bp honored to cash paid to credit or to br dishonored to purchases written balance carried down closing credit or by dr end as a br dishonored by credit balancing where if the this one this one here if you have got a closing balance difference is credit purchase if you have got a credit purchase the closing balance is credit or so how it start by balance brought down opening credit or by data end as a br dishonored to bp accepted for the sake of credit or cash paid to br dishonored to purchases return closing balance then we'll move on so now we fill up the blank of that property or the format has given you have to fill up the blank from the following particular so the last part in mass total data as account and total creditors account and find out the credit sale and pay so this will last for 10 months we'll move on opening data closing data so in the data account it will come on the debit side closing data opening creditor closing creditor bp issued will come in the creditor account cash received from customer is a creditor account cash paid to supplier is a creditor account cash returned to customers no that it will come on the debit side of the data account discount allowed to customer that will come in the data account bad debt in the data account br endorsed to creditor 
then we are dishonored by customer endorsed by sir dishonored discounted by our this is under debtor account sales return under debtor account purchase return under creditor account will a fill up the blank two balance brought down opening debtor see that what's your opening debtor here then come back here by cash cash received from debtor or customer see that here come back cash received from customers this over this over see that cash received from customer then you have got a format says no discount allowed discount allowed to customer 150 here 150 have you got the bad day bad date is 1200 check up only format check up then bad date is there then you have got a come back here that by discount allowed is there by bad date is there by sales return is there see that 6000 check up 6000 by bad date 12000 okay then come back here cash return is there no come back here bp cash received from customer cash return to customer debit entry then br 10000 here dishonor this amount debit entry then credit are endorsed by are dishonored endorsed by are dishonored then two bank discounted by are dishonored this will come at debtor account debtor account discounted then come back here by sales return have you got the closing debtor Your closing debt are forty thousand. Is there? This is. So whatever the difference, if we add the figure, no, it will come eighty nine thousand five hundred. And that the difference figure is nothing but credit sale. Everything is available. All the things are available. So if you have to learn the format, that's all. You have to learn the format. Once you learn the format, the problem becomes so much easy. Go to credit our account. By balance brought down opening creditor. See that what's opening creditor forty thousand. By debtor end answer B R designer end answer. Come back here end answer B R designer. How much is there five thousand? Then by creditor purchase return come back here two cash paid cash paid to supplier. How much is there two lakh seven thousand. Cash paid to supplier, two lakh seven thousand. To BR, BR dishonored. BR come back here. Debt are credit sale. BR issued cash receipt from customer. Cash paid to BR endorsed. Then discounted BR to BR dishonored. To credit are endorsed. BR dishonored. Come back here. By balance brought on opening credit are by debt are endorsed. BR dishonored. Here two BP accepted to cash paid to BR BR dishonored balance is there three lakh forty four thousand two lakh forty two lakh seven thousand BR dishonored cash return BR dishonored here BR endorsed to creditor BR dishonored here BR endorsed to creditor five thousand BR dishonored. We are endorsed to create our forty thousand. Endorsed, we are dishonored. Cash sum, debtor, BP issued during year. Cash received from customer. Cash paid to supplier is there. Opening debtor is there. Cash return to customer. Discount allowed. We are endorsed to create our. If we prepare total create our account, either to find out the closing create our. Are either to find out the credit purchase or the system, either to have to find out closing credit or are either to prepare called credit purchase. We start like this: two by balance brought down opening credit or by debtors end asset be are designer format says same thing. Two BP accepted out of the credit or account will be reduced. Then two cash paid to credit or so your amount will be reduced. Two lakhs. So total amount to be received is three lakh eighty nine thousand. How much BP accepted for sake of creditor? 
80,000. How much cash paid? 2 lakhs, 7,000. To BR, dishonored how much? When the DSR creditor account will be raised to 40,000. Purchase return is 2,000. Balance carried down is 60,000. Closing creditor. So the difference balancing figure is 3 lakhs. Forty-fourth term. In examination, either we get closing creditor, then we have got a credit purchase. We'll find out the closing creditor. If they given the closing creditor, the difference is credit purchases. Hope you understand this. You have to learn the format. Learn the format properly. Once you learn the format, this becomes so much easy for you. The difference between single entry to double entry here, in case of single entry. Both in other case, sometimes both the transactions are recorded. Only one transactions are recorded, but both the aspect of transaction are recorded in the double entry system. In single entry, only personal account and cash accounts are open, but in double entry system, all personal, real, and nominal accounts are open. Trial balance account cannot be prepared here. Trial balance can be prepared here. Then. Trading and profit loss account cannot be prepared here. Trading and profit loss account can be prepared to find out the gross profit or net profit. Then financial position balance sheet cannot be prepared to know the financial position. Balance sheet can be prepared to know the financial position. Here we are not in a position to find out the financial position. We can find out crude and unscientific method is uh, single entry. Scientific method is double entry. Reliability, it is not reliable. It is most reliable. Utility suitable only for sole trading and partnership firm. Suitable for all types of business. I will repeat once again. In single entry, sometimes only one aspect is recorded. Sometimes two aspects are recorded. But in double entry, always two aspects are recorded. Account in single entry. Only personal and cash accounts are prepared. Here in double entry, we prepare real account, nominal account, and personal account also. Trial balance cannot be prepared here. Trial balance can be prepared here. We are not in a position to find out the. We can't prepare the profit and loss account. We can prepare the profit and loss account. Financial position, we in single entry. Balance sheet cannot be prepared properly to know the financial position. Balance sheet can be prepared to know the financial position. Method, crude and unscientific method. This is scientific method. Then not reliable, most reliable, suitable only for sole trading and partnership firm. Suitable for all types of business. Hope you understand. So we have to learn debtor account, creditor account. Then only we can prepare trading and profit and loss account and financial balance sheet. We are going to be financial position. We say so here in examination they will ask for fifteen months. We have to prepare a data account, credit account only for ten months. They have last and we have to prepare a trading account, profit loss account and a balance sheet for fifteen months. So if we learn the format properly, it is very very easy. Hope you understand. We'll meet in the next day, next session with a problem. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next session.